Right. You are, Elise. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you together. Well, it's quite cold outside, so I thought I'd come and give Celine some warm milk. <sighs> I keep telling her that she doesn't need to go out of her way for me, but she won't listen. The steam here is plenty to keep me warm. Oh no, that wouldn't do at all. You saved my brother's life. At least allow me to try and make your stay here in Ymir a comfortable one. Celine saved my life? And when exactly did this happen? I, I told her nothing of the sort. I keep trying to tell her it's not true, but she won't believe a word I said. Um, is something the matter? Nope, not a thing. I'd really rather you didn't act like I saved his life, though. Besides, if anything, I should be the one who owes you. What do you mean? What do you mean? N nothing Forget I said anything. The milk's cooled down a little now, so I'm going to have some. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Thinking back on it, didn't Elise later say she spotted a cat when she went into the old schoolhouse? Better not have been who I think it is. Don't give me that look. I wouldn't have let her in there if I didn't think it was safe, you know? I was desperate. You just had such a half-hearted reaction to that door, so I started getting impatient and... I can't believe you! She could have... She wasn't in any danger, honestly. The Guardian in there was designed not to attack people unrelated to the trial. It didn't touch her even when she was right in front of it, right? That's proof enough. I'm sorry, okay? I never should have done it to begin with. Emma's lectured me over and over about it, too. You're sorry? You... Uh, um... <laughs> I'm not sure why you're whispering to one another, but regardless, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. Like I said before, I want to make your stay a comfortable one. Whatever you need, please don't hesitate to ask. It's okay, really. And, um, sorry. Hmm? Why are you sorry? Because... She does genuinely seem to regret what she did. Because... And at least didn't come to any harm. I guess I'll let her off this time. <laughs> I really do have one amazing little sister. Compared to her, I'm...
Beethoven. So, if you've come to thank me for saving your butt again, save it. I'm just glad I made it in time. Princess Alfin and that sister of yours are the ones you should be talking to. You were on their minds this whole time. Yeah, I can tell. I really do appreciate you coming for me, though. I was pretty far out from town, so I didn't think anyone would find me. Just goes to show what bracers can do, I guess. About that. I wasn't actually the one who found you. You weren't? Two days ago, I got a call out of nowhere on my Arcus. They gave me this crazy amount of detail on exactly where to find you, then they just hung up. Didn't even say who they were. I figured it couldn't hurt to go take a look, and sure enough, there you were. Hmm, that's strange. I wonder who it was. Wish I could tell you. I couldn't even recognize their voice. Hmm, nah, that's not really true. It was kind of familiar, maybe. Eh, whatever. No use dwelling on it. Right now we've got bigger problems to tackle than mystery callers. There's the war, for starters. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Have you and the rest of the guild been doing much? Well, we've been trying. We're pretty limited on what we can do. Partly because we've all been split up since the war broke out. I don't even know if any of the others in Erebonia are okay. Sarah included. It sounds like things have gotten even more serious since I was away. Sure has. Not even regular civilians have been able to escape being affected by it. As it stands, the Noble Alliance has the overwhelming advantage. But the Imperial Army is showing no signs of surrendering to them. Particularly in a few regions across the country. I see. Oh, and another thing you might hear. We've been getting reports of a few Jaeger Corps taking part in the war too. Even members of Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Ouroboros? That secret society? That's the one. Jaegers being employed here in Erebonia is nothing new, but there's way more of them here these days. As for Ouroboros, they're probably just trying to stir up trouble of their own. Then there's the fact that Erebonia isn't the only place with problems right now. There's so much to freak out about these days, it could drive you insane. Sorry. You've got enough on your play without me dumping all this on you, huh? Try saving all those bad thoughts you got piling up for another day. You need to focus on relaxing. You can decide what you want to do after that. Um, sure. Thanks, Toval. You're probably right. You're just a fountain of good advice, huh? <laughs> I've just got a few years worth of life experience on you. Oh, and while I'm giving you good advice, why not take a dip in the hot springs? Could be a nice way to clear your head. <laughs> it probably would. Hasn't let me down before. Maybe I should pay a visit to the Phoenix Wings later. Yeah. Be even more distressed right now than I am. Why, hello, Reen. <laughs> You're looking rather well today. Much better than you were yesterday, at any rate. I feel loads better, actually. Thanks. How about you? Are you managing all right here? If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, though, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, not at all. I've been simply loving my stay here. The scenery is stunning. The hot springs are also soothing. To say nothing of your mother's spectacular cooking. I'm having the time of my life here. I almost envy Elise for growing up in such a wonderful place. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Still. On top of all that, I was able to reunite with you here. me 
meet a mysterious talking cat, too. Not everyone gets to do that now, do they? I still haven't had the pleasure of meeting that Ashen Knight of yours, however. Perhaps I might have the chance once he wakes up? <laughs> I suppose I can dream. Um, well... I realize I'm the last person who has any right to say this, but there's no need to force yourself to bottle everything up and put on a brave face. I know how worried I am about my classmates, so I can only imagine how you must feel. I... I... I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be royalty. I shouldn't be getting all worked up about something like this, but just thinking of what my family must be going through is just too much to bear. Cedric and I... We had a fight on the morning it all happened. I was planning to make up with him that evening, but... I... I'm sure he won't hold that against you. You'll be able to make up with him next time you see him. I'm sure that'll be sooner than you think, too. In the meantime, there's no need to force yourself to seem like being apart from them isn't bothering you. Royalty or not, no one would blame you for being worried or upset. And every single one of us here wants to do what we can to help you. I don't sound ungrateful, but I think you should be spending more time with Elise rather than me. This is your first chance in a while to spend some quality time together. I'd hate to take that away from her. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's true that she's a little more wow. dependent on me than you'd expect for a girl her age. But that doesn't mean she needs me hovering around her all the time. Maybe you're right. I should try and cheer her up while I still can. Not exactly what I meant. Oh, this is so difficult on a fair maiden's heart, I hope you know. You're just making me wish you were my brother all the more! Why?
This spot looks perfect for fishing. can't beat an outdoor hot spring. Feels like all the fatigue that's been building up inside me is melting away. I don't think I realized just how exhausted I was until I came in here. Still, what am I supposed to do now? Chancellor Osborne's been shot, the capital's been occupied, and now even Trista and the Academy are under the Noble Alliance's control. Then there's Crow. I was practically a joke. I didn't stand a chance against him. Even borrowing the power of something like a Divine Knight wasn't enough to fight him on equal terms. Far from it. It was hopeless from the start. I didn't realize before, but he was holding back against me the whole time. Even without that trump card of his, he could have defeated me effortlessly. And yet there was me, all happy, thinking that I'd won, right before he knocked me back with a single blow. If only I wasn't so weak. If only I'd been able to hold my ground, maybe things would have been different. Instead, I ended up running away and leaving everyone else behind. There's no point in blaming how things ended on Selene or Valimar. None of this is their fault. This is all on me. Because of that, I've lost everything. I finally found a place where I felt I belonged, and people to share it with. And I, I thought my life was finally gaining some direction, but now I feel totally lost again. Reen? Reen? Sorry if I'm bothering you. Elise, did you want to use the springs too? Um, I... I heard you were here, so I thought that perhaps I could come and join you. I mean, I know we used to come in here together when we were kids, but 
We're a little old for that now, don't you think? I'm not so sure it's the best idea. Please, we're siblings. There's no need to feel so self-conscious. And you must be exhausted after all that's happened. So I thought the least I could do was come and wash your back for you. nice and toasty, huh? Truth be told, I haven't taken a dip here for some time. I'd forgotten how pleasant it was to sit here and admire the snow. Yeah, same here. Uh, bathing during the fall when the leaves are changing has its charms, but something about watching the snow really relaxes me. And it's plenty relaxing even without a bottle of sake in hand, despite what Master Kafai might tell you. He's always been a heavy drinker. To say nothing of the fact that Father can never turn down the opportunity to help him finish a bottle or three whenever he visits. Um... I'm sorry. You came out here because you were worried, didn't you? Oh, oh no! Not at all! That wasn't why I came here at all! It's just that... You're not the only one. It's like everyone I meet has to go out of their way for me. It's how things have been for my whole life. How everyone feels like they have to be around me. What do you mean? It happened the day Dad picked me up in that blizzard 12 years ago. It happened the day when I lost control and scared you 8 years ago. Oh. It happened the day Master Kafai cut short my years of training. It even happened only last month, when everyone risked their lives so that I, and I alone, could be saved. That's not... <sighs> Looking back on my life, I've been too fortunate for my own good. All I've done is bask in the kindness of everyone I know, giving nothing worthwhile in return. On the contrary, I've brought nothing but misfortune to them instead. <sighs> I don't have the right to be treated kindly. I don't deserve to have others putting themselves up. Not when I seemingly can't do a thing to return that kindness and am too weak to fight for them when they need it most. None of this should have ever happened. If I'd known it would, if I'd known things would ever become like this, then I'd never have gone to the Academy to begin with. Stop. Do you seriously mean all that you've just said? I... Uh... The right to be treated kindly? And who exactly decides who has that right, whatever that's supposed to be? Uh... I don't look out for you because I expect something in return or because I want you to defend me. Acts of kindness aren't debts to be repaid! I look out for you because I care about you! Because you're important to me! And I'm sure that Mother, Father, Master Kafai, your classmates, and all of your other acquaintances feel the same! Me too. So please, from the bottom of my heart... <laughs> please don't say that you don't have the right to be treated kindly. Of course you do. You just don't realize it. I don't. You care so much about the people who matter to you. So why can't you understand that those people care just as much about you? <gasps> Think back to that day when you were separated from your classmates. What kind of expressions did they have when you parted from them? They... smiling. They all believed that we'd see each other again. That no matter what happened along the way, we'd all be reunited. And that one day, we'd move forward together as a class again, just like we did before. <sighs> Maybe there's nothing wrong with feeling lost and impatient from time to time. I believe in all of them. And if they see me as worthy of their trust, and I'd like to try and believe in myself, too. We're classmates. And more than that, we're friends. So long as I keep moving forward, I'm sure that somewhere, someday, our paths will cross again. I... I think so, too, Reen. 
Thanks, Elise. I feel like you gave me exactly what I needed to move forward. <laughs> you don't need to thank me. I didn't do anything. All I did was remind you of something you already knew. It was your time at the Academy that gave you what you needed. <laughs> I admit, I am a little envious of your classmates, though. <laughs> Still, I'm really thankful to have you in my life. I might not be the most dependable brother in the world, but I'd appreciate it if you kept looking out for me. And while it might be a ways away, I'll keep striving to be an older brother you can be proud of. I'm always proud of you, you know? And of course I will. <laughs> I see all's well that ends well. Y your Highness? And you've brought Celine, too. <sighs> Hope you don't mind us barging in. What brings you here? I heard that you were both here from Toval, so I thought I might come along and see how everything was going. Besides, how could I pass up a chance to help cheer up Reen? And oh, what a heartwarming sight I happened to stumble upon during my humble quest. <sighs> Considering you are waiting for the perfect time to make your grand entrance, stumbling is a stretch. You were waiting? Were you listening in the whole time? <laughs> Elise, have you ever known me to be so unladylike? But I see you've done a fine enough job for the both of us. Oh, the bond between siblings is truly a miraculous thing. Not only do you share an unwavering kinship, but you'll always have the tender embrace of skinship within reach. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your concern, though. Still, Elise is one thing, but I'm not entirely comfortable sharing the springs with you, your highness. Oh, come now, Reen. This is the bath. Ranks are stripped once our clothes are, as far as I'm concerned. That being said, may I join Elise in washing your back as well? This would make the perfect chance for us to finally strengthen our bond as honorary siblings. Wouldn't you agree? Your Highness, please! <laughs> Sorry, okay? Huh? About, you know, things. I'm not exactly all that cognizant of human feelings and the like. Emma often points out as much. But thinking back, I have done some things that were probably quite insensitive in your eyes. <laughs> Look at you. Huh? If anything, I should be the one apologizing. I shouldn't have taken my frustrations out on you like that. Can you forgive me? Forgive you? Why would I need to... Ugh, I really don't get you sometimes. What was that? That sounded like... A light deep night. I know exactly what that was. It's that magic night we ran into on the way down the mountain. I had a feeling Toval's art wasn't enough to finish it off. But the fact it's still active isn't the only problem. It sounds like it's coming this way.
Right, let's get started. My turn. Ha! Now's our chance. I'll back you up. You're finished. Sure thing. I'm up! <laughs> Let's move! I can do this! <laughs> Shall we move on? Right, Elise? Oh, don't worry. I'm fine. Just warms your heart. Right, let's get started. Right! Here I go. Ha! Now's our chance. I'll back you up. You're finished. I'm up. Please allow me. Here I go. There. Sure thing. Well, that's that. seems to be picking up. We should hurry before the sun begins to set. Bring it on! I can do this! Activate! I'm up! Sure thing. Please 
Please allow me. Let's move. Okay, it's safe for now. That's it for you. Close. Let's get yourselves ready. Let's wrap this up. Let's move. Marcus, activate. Sure thing. Marcus, activate. Please allow me. Here you go! That's it for you.
Stay sharp, guys. Sure thing. Time to stop holding back. This is gonna hurt. Rebellion storm. Here I go! Gather on my blade! Ready to go! Disactivate! Let's move! Sure thing. There you go. Let's move. Ha! Now. I'll back you up. I can do this. Ready to go! Ready to go! My turn! Now! I'll back you up! Ready to go! go. Let's move! Ha! Ready to go! Let's 
Let's move. Now's our chance. I'll back you up. I'm up. I'm up! My turn! Now! I'll back you up! I can do this! There! Ready to go! My turn! Teams gather on my blade! Ready to go! Ready to go! Ready to go! Wait! Activate! Here I go! Sit! Ready to go! Try this! Fire! Let's move! My turn! Ha! That's that. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Every little improvement. Heed my, my call. Gone. Valamar, yeah, the yeah, Ashen yeah, Knight! Yeah.
sound? I see a bit. enough to fend off this guy at least. <laughs> Try and actually win this time, got it? Not a problem. I'm counting on you, Valimar. Our target's the Magic Knight right in front of us. However, operational time is limited to a maximum of 300 seconds. Caution is advised. So this is the Ashen Knight? I heard about it fighting against the Alliance forces trying to take over Tristabin. Wow, this is something else. Are you really moving that, Reen? Elise, Toma, I'll take care of this. Stay back. Ha! <laughs> Roger that. Come on, Missy. We're gonna be in danger if we stay here. Fine by me. Okay, here goes. All right, you ready? No, just no. He's used up every last bit of the mana he recovered. Uh, <sighs> that was a close one. You didn't have a weapon, and yet you still came out on top, Reen. Not half bad. Not that it means you're ready to take on the Azure Awakener. That's a ways away. Yeah. I'll bet. Combat efficiency demonstrated a 5% increase over the previous battle. I look forward to observing further improvement in the future. Yeah, boy. Sure. I hope I don't let you down. I barely know a thing about you. 
But even then, it's clear as day that you're far more reliable than I'll ever be. Well, it doesn't matter how it happened. The fact is, we're now fighting alongside one another as both allies and friends. So don't worry. I'll do everything I can to become strong enough to draw out your full power. Strong enough to even win against Krull. I shall await that day. You too. Hey. What are you doing? Green! Hey there. You did great, champ. Thanks. You didn't get hurt at all, did you, Elise? Uh, I'm fine. I'm more concerned about you. Are you feeling all right? I'd heard about what happened the last time you fought inside that thing. <laughs> I'm a little tired, but that's all. I probably wouldn't have gotten off so easily if things were anywhere close to being like last time, honestly. As I've said once before, all damage taken by a Divine Knight is passed on to its Awakener. So take that as extra motivation to continue getting better at piloting him. Well, yeah, you did say that, didn't you? Well, I'd have to improve my piloting skills to get things done anyway. I've got every intention of getting better. <laughs> you're sounding a lot more sure of yourself now. Does that mean you're feeling better? Yeah. Yeah, never better. If I want to reunite with the others, I need to keep moving forward. Sorry. I've got a feeling I'm just going to be causing you a lot more grief in the future. Oh, don't you worry about that. I'm and besides, I'd like nothing more than for you to be reunited with your classmates. Thanks, Elise. Oh, you can be such a troublemaker. <laughs> Sounds like things are all wrapped up here. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that. Ah, Vita. That can't be. Oh, not now. Vita, Claudilde. Rianos! It's the bird I saw in the capital. Hello there, darling. Miss me? It's so no. lovely to see you again, Re- Is that bird talking? After Celine, a bird shouldn't be any more surprising. But still, you've got some nerve showing yourself, Vita. Although not enough nerve to show up in person, apparently. So what does Ouroboros' oh-so-amazing second Anguis, the Azure Abyss herself, want with us? What's an Anguis? One of Ouroboros' top brass. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, too, Celine. And while I know of them, I can't say I recall ever being formally introduced to Reen's adorable sister or that handsome bracer with you. I'm sorry that our first meeting had to be through my familiar. Huh? Misty. No. I suppose I should call you Vita now. How did you know we were here? We've been trying to find the whereabouts of the Ashen Knight for quite a while, you see. We've been searching for the past month since the Civil War began without any luck. But then we sensed an active magic knight in this area, and that was what finally led us to you. Uh, I wasn't expecting our location to be discovered this quickly. <laughs> I got to see your battle with Crow too, incidentally. Oh, really? For it being the first time you've ever piloted a knight, you did rather well. Nah, bro. If we're being objective, though, it was more akin to a tiger swatting away at a cub. <sighs> what are Crow and that Azure Knight doing now, anyway? What happened to everyone at the Academy? I'm sure they're fine, Reen. <laughs> Crow has been keeping himself very, very busy. The Noble Alliance forces see him as their little joker. They call him the Azure Chevalier now. The yeah, Azure what? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know anything about your classmates, though. Emma's in hiding now, too. Still, if you want to know that ba- That didn't sound good. That sounded like- Gunfire. That sounded like gunfire! <gasps> Uh-oh. 
I wasn't expecting them to arrive so soon. It sounds like the Jaegers hired by Duke Alborea are here. I'm guessing it's only a matter of time now before Princess Alfin is taken into- Jaegers? In Ymir? Her Highness? Damn it. I can assure you that I have nothing to do with what's happening over there. <laughs> I think you're going to want to hurry, though. Perhaps if you run fast enough, oh, yeah. you might be able to get back in time. Uh, how dare she act like this is all some game! Let it go, Celine! We've gotta hurry! Yeah, Her Highness and the rest of Ymir are in real danger if we don't get moving. Right! Alright. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will see you guys on the next episode.